DDT is an abbreviation of the name. And there's quite a nice little poem which my daughter learned to say when she was only three and I quite like. So I'll tell it to you now. It goes, a mosquito was heard to complain that chemists had poisoned his brain. The cause of his sorrow was paradichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, hence D, D and T. An insecticide is something that kills insects, doesn't discourage them, they still come to you if they get it on them, in particular I think in, with DDT on their feet, they die. So you can see it's labelled as being toxic, so let's open it. And here we've got 11.2 grams. DDT was developed in the early stages of the Second World War to stop the troops from getting lice, the small insects that from as long as anyone can remember and hundreds of years before then have lived in the clothes of soldiers who are fighting and don't have time to wash or change their clothes. During the Second World War, when the Allies invaded Italy and liberated Naples, a huge epidemic started because of lice among all the children and the refugees. And there's a terrific picture here in this old book showing child being treated and his mother being treated with DDT. But now DDT has quite a bad reputation and the bad reputation started with this book by an American author, Rachel Carson. It's called Silent Spring. In the spring, the birds sing. And her point was that in the early 1960s, in much of the Midwest of America, there weren't any birds singing, or far fewer than normal. And the reason, and some people argue about some of the numbers and things in this book, but the reason she put forward was that insecticides like DDT were being used in huge amounts. The birds were eating the insects that had absorbed some of this DDT, and because they were eating so much, they accumulated DDT in their bodies, and the DDT damaged the production of eggshells, so that when they laid their eggs, the shells were soft and the birds didn't hatch properly. Now the problem is that DDT, because when it's concentrated in this way, is harmful to wildlife, but when it's used in human um, environment, it's used in lower concentrations, we don't eat the DDT, so it's not really a bad for humans, but it's fantastically good for killing insects like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes spread malaria. Huge numbers of children, even now, die each year through malaria. So there is a very difficult problem to which nobody knows the answer. Not me, I don't think you either, which is how do you balance the benefits to human people killing the insects so that young children don't die of malaria on one hand and on the other hand preserving wildlife and preventing DDT accumulating in the environment. And you can see like most organic chemicals it's just a white crystalline powder this is the official name, 1,1-bis-4-chloro-phenyl-2,2,2-trichloroethane, used by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. The initials DDT came because when it was invented in the 1940s or late 1930s, it really was the abbreviation from the name. Now that we have changed the name, so we have bis rather than di, for meaning two, I suppose if it had been invented now it would be called BDT. I have no idea how it kills them, though I've been told that if you take the deuterated compound where the one hydrogen atom has deuterium instead, 
doesn't kill the insects because they can get rid of it out of their body faster than the carbon deuterium bond breaks. But I don't know whether this is true or not. It sounds plausible.